family. You now call me by name. And I will do that again and again. May the day you conceived me be cursed. May Aja and the mother earth curse your womb that gave birth to me. I regret ever calling you mother. You are not fit to be called a mother. Silence, Kambili. Silence! Keep quiet, Uzamaka. You are so shameless. You let your feelings get hold of your mortal body. Now, when I walk through the village, everyone who whispers your name and mine, mother and daughter that got pregnant for the same man, so you are not ashamed of the fact that you got pregnant for a man out of wedlock. You still stand in my presence and disrespect me, your mother. See who he's talking. You should be kneeling in front of the shrine of Ekwensu, the god of war, with a she-goat and four tubers of yam, begging for forgiveness before his wrath comes upon you. But I know that even if he forgives you, Aja and the mother earth will never forgive you. You committed an abomination. I will not have you see. One more move from you, and I will stab you and kill myself. Let Aja and be our judge. Obiefuna, my love. Spending the rest of my life with you is my wish. And I pray that Ajahn will make my dreams come true. Come, my one and only. I am sure Ajani, the Mother Earth, has ears. And she's going to make your wish come true. You see, very soon I'll be done with school. Then we can walk towards it. I love you so much. I love you too. What troubles your heart? My father's illness. Watching the only mortal in my life suffer and yet I cannot do anything to help. It really breaks my heart day and night. Don't worry, Obiefuna. Very soon, your sick father will get well. With the help of the herbs that Ezana gave to him, he's going to get better soon. I hope so too. Family. Believe my daughter. You know I love and cherish you so much. That is why I am using all that I have to train you in school. 
I will do everything possible to make sure that you go to Newichi village to write your Wayek exams. You see right now, love is not what you need. But me, I love Ubefuna so much. Will you keep quiet? Imagine I'm advising you, you're still doing you love you. Love what? Uh -uh 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 -uh. Are you alright? Sorry. The next time I see you with that boy anywhere again, eh, I will so punish you, I won't even look back. Just imagine. I'm sorry. My friend, go inside, get ready, let's go to the shop.
Udema. Udema. Thank the gods you're here. Yes, um, Obi, I must be fast. My mother is waiting for me at the shop. I, I hope she did not scold you the last time. No, and she cannot hurt her only offspring. Um, Obi, um, take this, um, add it up and use it to get help for your sick father. Come. Where did you get this money from? Don't tell me you stole from your mother again. I did not steal it. I took it. Oh no, come. Taking money without your mother's consent is stealing. And it's not good. Um, I know. I know. Well, I don't want anything to happen to my father-in-law. <laughs> A father-in-law, you say? Uh, my love, we are not even married yet. I know we are not married yet, but we are still going to get married, so I'm right. Yes, you're right, and you win. Um, Obi, I'll start going now. I don't want my mother to start looking for me. Alright. Um, Papa is asleep, right? Yes, yes, he's very rich, so he's sleeping. Okay, see you later. Come. I love you so much. I love you too.
Give this to your father. Make sure he drinks it three times a day after good food. Thank you, Azani. You can come back and pay me when you have your own money. Yes, I, I, I don't understand. Uh, stealing is not in our culture. But healings can take place either with money or not. How did he know the money was stolen? Even when they fell, our gods are still acting. How are you doing? I'm fine. How is your father's health? I hope he's getting better. I'm just coming from Ezani's house and he gave me this herbs for him. I I pray that with this my father will be healed completely. Don't worry, son of Agumba. Hmm? Your father will be on his feet soon. I pray so too, Ne. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't call me Ne. My name is Uza Amaka. Hmm? Stop it. Okay. Take so that you can get anything your father wants and also get something very nice for yourself. Don't worry. I am not worried, eh? Use it to buy anything your father needs. Your father is a very good man. Thank you so much, Inne. Did I not just tell you to stop calling me that? Uza Amaka, Uza Amaka. It's not so hard. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. Make sure you take very good care of your father. Mm? Thank you. And don't stop being a good boy. Mm?
I've, I've, I've been meaning to ask you, what is this picture doing in the house? Why did you bring it? I don't know. Obifuna has never given me any of his picture. So how did this picture get to this house? Oh, it's me that went to bring it to the house. I swear, I, I don't know. I'm even surprised that you're holding the picture and, and, and closing your eyes. Will you shut up and go inside and get me water to drink? Instead of you to explain what you just did, and go, come on, go inside, hosty so I use this chair to hit you. Can't get me water. I'm asking you a question. You're there trying to act up and say nonsense. Will you go inside now? You brought the picture into the house. Now explain why you brought the picture into the house. You cannot. That water, don't test me. You want to sleep there?
Ito. How did she get my picture? That I cannot tell. I don't know. Because I only have three pictures. And I noticed for the past three months now, one of my pictures have been missing. How did he now end up in her possession? I am even surprised to see my mother with your picture. Yay! I even forgot to tell you, she gave me money the other day. My mother? I swear. Hey, I'm, I'm surprised. I, mean, I think maybe she's trying to make up for what she did the last time that she came shouting at you. Um, I think so. Because when we got home that day, she was advising me to focus on my studies and make sure I pass my work. Well, she's still your mother and I, I know she wants the best for you. Yes, I know. But I can never leave you. Please, don't leave me, okay? I love you so much and if you leave me, my life will be empty. I love you too. Well, I, I wanted to tell you, Ezra and you refused to take that money you gave me for my father's treatment. He said the money is a stolen money. Chimu, uh, how did he know? I don't know. I was even shocked that our gods are still this very active. But if he was that pastor from Newich, you know, he would have just collected the money without even looking back. The white man's religion has come to new course. Very soon they will leave us with nothing. With or without the white man's religion, what I know is that we are all serving the same God. Open. Let's go inside and do it now. Remember the last time you said you were seeing your moon leaf flower? Um, but I hope it's not going to be painful like the last time. No, it won't. I've already cleared the grass and put the mats there. Let's go. Mm -hmm. um, hope it's protection. Don't worry. Let us go. <laughs> <laughs> Kambili, my daughter. I called you here to let you know that I have discussed with your principal. She says your WIAC exam starts in five months time. Yes. So I would like you to go to Newichi so she can brush you off for the next three months before the exams. Three months? What can believe, calm down. I want you to come out with very good grades. You know I was not opportune to go to school because my parents could not pay my fees. Huh? But I will use the last kobo that I make from this only shop that your late father left behind for us to train you. You will come out with good grades and you will do well in life. Yeah, I know. I know, but the lessons that I get from the village school here is enough for me. Hmm. How can you compare what a principal of a school will teach to what an ordinary teacher will teach you. It can never ever be the same. I know what I'm telling you. I've discussed with her. She's okay with it. And she has promised she'll take very good care of you. What's your name? No buts. No buts. I'm tired of trying to make you see reason. Go inside and get food for me to eat. Ah. I'm trying to direct you in the right path. You're there trying to run around in circles. Go inside and get me food. Will you go inside and get food for me? I'm trying to see how to define your career path for you. You're there confusing yourself around. I am not. 
not happy at all. your mind out of Uzamaka. Don't tell me that your boyfriend is stopping you from going. The news is still far from his ears. I don't want to go because if I go, I will miss him. And you know the Wayek takes two months. My mother wants me to go three months before the Wayek. So I'll be staying for five good months without seeing a beer for now. See, I, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. That's too long. And Newichi is very far from here. Exactly. Newichi is very far from here. See, I'm just confused. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. When you get to the house, try to talk to her. Maybe she will allow you to go a month before our work. Not in three months. Hmm? Yes. Be sad. Everything will be fine. Eat your food now. Eat your food so that I can give you your medication. Oh, be cool. Oh, yeah, take small, small. Small, small. 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 <coughs> Sorry, sorry. <coughs> Eat your food. You're here? Yes. Good day, Papa. <laughs> Sit down, bro. Come, just wait for a minute, bro. Let me finish giving him his food and education. I'm coming. Just wait. Papa? <coughs> Kami is greeting you. Mm. My, my daughter. How are you, Papa? I am fine. <sighs> Hope he's getting better. I'm going to eat, bro. Just finish your food, oh, so that I can give you your medication, oh. Please, please, you have to finish it, oh. You have to finish it, Vico. Hmm? Try. Just try, oh. Oh, try. Five months without you. Huh. I can't take it. It's too much. Come. You know education is key to success. And your mother wants the best for you. Remember how she suffered day and night to raise that money for your Wayek? You did not take last year's Wayek because she couldn't afford it. But this year, she's ready to pay for you. I mean, 
Why does she want to send me to the principal's house in, in Ewiji? Eh? Why the extra lessons? My love, what I know is that she's your mother and she wants the best for you. I know she wants the best for me. Eh? But I can't bear to stay one week away from you. Not to talk of five months. You know what? Just go. Huh? I promise to be coming to New Witchy from time to time to check on you. I promise. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, if you're going to keep your promise, then I'll go. plant cannot grow taller than its planter. I will show you that I am your mother and you can never ever 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 in this life be bigger than me. Eh? You will kneel down here and not get up from this place else I will cut off those two legs of yours. Test me and see. I saw you and Obefuna again. Yes. It, it's not my fault. Keep your useless meetings to yourselves. Hold it there. What is good about today? Both of you have been the ones confusing my only child in this village and leading her astray. Eh? What is wrong with you two? No, Mao. We only came to check up on her. Came to check up on her. Is she missing? Ma, Did anybody complain that she's missing in this village? What are you checking up on her for? Ma, we came to call her for our evening lesson. That evening lesson killed both of you. That evening lesson killed both of you there. I don't blame you. Very soon my daughter will go to Newichi where the principal will give her proper education. Let me see you two come back here and be claiming evening lesson. Leave my house now. Yeah. Yeah? I say leave my house or I forget this cane on your bodies. Useless lots. And as for you, I will prove to you that I am your mother. You know why? If a snake does not vomit his venom, children will use it to tie firewood, believing it is a rope. Bring out your hand now. Hurry up. I say bring it out now. You think I play with you? Bring it out. Out, 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 out. Bring it, bring that hand out. Bring it out. Out. Bring it out. Out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring out your hand. Bring out your hand. Bring that hand out now. Bring, bring, bring. bring that hand out. You think I play with you? Up, up, up. Your hand. Both of them, in fact. Bring, bring both of them out now. Bring, bring them. Don't test me. Bring both hands out. Mother sent us out. Kambili was kneeling down. Let's her be. Have one mother, Kabiko. Gozi, please come. Let's go.
How many times have I told you to stop calling me? Nick? Sorry. Good day, Uzamaka. I I'm, I'm sorry for what happened that day. I promise it will not happen again. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Stop. Are you not a man? In fact, you're one of the finest men in the nine villages of Akaoba. That is why I am training my daughter very well. So that when she's done from school, she can end up with the right man. But not now. Okay, ma. How is your sick father? He's inside sleeping. Mm, I see. I brought this for you. Take. Use it and buy anything you want and also get something for your father. Why are you giving me money? You, you gave me money the other day and now you're giving me another money. Soon you will understand. I'll be on my way now. Bye. Looking at bread here. Oh, mm. I have it. So I thought you said butter. Mm. Go ahead and take it. Eh? Hey. Hey. 
But leg and Billy, this one you are acting so weird. Hope all is well. Are you okay, Nick? Madam, you said you wanted bread. You have taken bread. Leave my shop. Oh, Chimo, I'm not going to come around. Say it now. Let me know if I can help. Leave my shop. You're looking for where to gossip. Because you came here to buy bread of 500 naira. I will not have peace. Poor people. Always talking. already informed me that she's waiting for us. But ne what? But ne what? But what? Eh? My mother has strike this your mouth that you have chosen you will use in disobeying me. You have told yourself that you will not become anything useful in life. But you see me, I am your mother. Whether you like it or not, you will become somebody useful in this life. Let us go. You don't want to go. You don't want to My friend, move. <laughs> this Cambly mother, she's very wicked. Hi, hey, and she's even for it forcing her to go. You can see it. I feel for her. I forbid this kind of woman. Hey, hey.
Papa has not eaten anything since morning. And I am very hungry as well. <sighs> How do I get money for another house for Papa? He just took the last one. May my chi help me. There is no single food stuff in this house. And he needs to eat before sunset. I'm Billy, my love. It's been one week since you left and I'm already missing you. I love you so much, Cam. I love you so much, Cam. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good day, Ma. I've told you to stop calling me, Ma. I don't know how many times you want me to keep reminding you that. I made food for you and Papa. I was actually coming to your house. Food? How did you know that we're hungry? We haven't even eaten anything since morning. When people are close to your heart, their problems automatically become yours. Thank you so much. Let's go and see Papa. At least my father has eaten and he's now resting. And for the money I am grateful. I will go to Ezani's place to get more herbs for him. Thank you. You're welcome. I would like to suggest something to you. I would love to take your father to the city for proper medical attention. If you do that for me, I swear I will be very happy, I swear. I will, and I can do it. But on one condition, you will do something for me in return. What is it? A anything you want me to do, I am ready. As long as it's something I can do. My father is the only person I have and I don't want to lose him now. I'm ready to do anything. I'm ready. From the very first time I set my eyes on you with my daughter, I began to develop strong feelings for you. I want you to be mine, and all your family problems will be over. You, you, you know your daughter is my friend. What are you saying, Ma? Sorry, Uzamaka. Relax. Relax. Hmm? My daughter is your friend, yes. But she's still a child. What does she know? Nothing. What can she give you? Nothing. I am here for you. You want money? I will give you excess of it. You want my body? You can have it. I will take your father to the city, don't forget, and give him good, proper medical attention. All your problems will be over. I will take care of you all round. Anything you want at all, I will give it to you. Hmm? All I just want is, is to feel your warmth close to my body. Feel your body. Have these soft lips of yours on my lips and feel you have you deep it 
inside me. <sighs> See anything you want. Please, I can't. That is an abomination. Ah, no, no, please, I cannot. Obi! Obi! Wish he can be mine. But he rejected me. I took my daughter out of the picture to make sure he doesn't see her. So I can focus on him and make him mine. Still, he doesn't want me. I cannot allow him go so easily. I think I know what to do. Obiefuna must be mine. I will never rest until I have him inside of me. Ah, I love you so much, Obi. Good day, ma. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What is it? Ma, I want to buy I don't have it. But I haven't even... I said I don't have it. Don't say it. Don't mention it. Leave my shop. Eh? Before I close my eyes and open, leave this place. You're one of the girls that has been distracting my daughter in this village. Yeah. Look at you. Agent of distraction. Ah, uh -uh. what is it? Anytime I want to have a quiet time with my man, you will appear from nowhere. You'll be mine. You must be mine. No jokes. I will do anything and everything possible to make sure he's mine. All I want is for him to be mine. Please. Uzamaka. Daughter of Okongo. Yes, wise one. Do not stand in the place of danger. Believe in miracles. It is only a fool that tests the depth of a river with both legs. Be careful of the path you walk on. Not all white road leads to the living. Some leads to a place of destruction. Uh, wise one, I do not understand. Any man or woman who hears proverbs and ask for explanation means the right price of his or her mother is worthless. Uzamaka, Uzamaka, be careful. I want to see your back. Isani, we can do something about this. How much? I will pay. Hmm. Whom the gods wants to kill. First of all, makes that person mad. Samaka wants you to live here now. Your father will not be happy with you. Wherever he is, child of the world.
When I got to her shop, she was holding a picture close to her heart. I called her three times. She opened her eyes and asked me to leave her shop. Are you sure Campbell's mother is okay? I actually on this day saw her. On my way to this place, I saw her. I greeted her. She did not answer me. She walked past me. I wish Camille is around. At least we will advise her to talk to her mother. I saw Obefuna yesterday. He was looking tired and worn out. He must be missing Kambili. But Kambili have to focus on her education first. If Obefuna loves her, both of them can get married after her break. Hey. Married, Ke? Someone that cannot even feed himself three times a day. How is he going to pay breakfast? Ah. Ha. Ngozi, don't insult that handsome young man. I'm not insulting. He still will remember him soon. I pray so. Let's go. The womb that gave birth to me awaits me. As the one you she me. I want him to be mine. I want to feel his touch. I want his body against mine. His lips against mine. I want to wake up to him by my side every day for the rest of my life. Uzamaka, what you ask, I will do. But the price you must pay. As the one you should. Mother of the seven rivers, I pray thee to make him mine, and I will pay anything you want. Things of the flesh sends message to the brain, but time ends it all. Uzamaka, your heart's desire you will get. Thank you, Ezewai. Immortal eats, they can't vomit. Put it in his food and he will be yours. Thank you, as a wine. But remember, a price you must pay. Now go. Make sure your father drinks it every morning after eating. Thank you, Nai. Bifna, old age is a blessing. Hmm? We pray that we have someone who will take care of us when the time comes with financial freedom. Your father is blessed. So don't think of that taking care of him is a punishment. Just pray that whatever you are doing now, your children will do the same to you when the time comes. Thanks, Emmanuel. When the dark witch of the seven rivers speaks, heaven shouts as a sign of bad woman. Bifna, you have to be very careful of what you eat. Charms eaten by mothers. 
destroy he or she. No, I, I, I don't understand. Obi of now go home and take care of your father. Nani, you are always speaking in parables. Please make me understand. Remember the last time you said you were seeing your moon leaf flower? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, but I hope it's not going to be painful like the last time. No, it won't. I've already cleared the grass and put the mats there. Let's go. Mm hope -hmm. this protection. Don't worry, let us go. <laughs> Kambiri? 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 Obina. My mother, the principal, summons you. I beg you with the name of my chi and Ajana. I am not interested. I don't want, please. No, 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 no. Far from that. That's not why I came. Eh? I'm here to apologize over what happened the last time. Honestly, I don't know what even came over me. I don't know why I said the things I said. I'm sorry. How is your father? He's fine. He's inside sleeping. Okay, so what are you doing here? You look worried. I'm just here thinking. I'm just tired. I, I don't know what to do. I haven't eaten since morning and, and there's no food in this house. My father even needs to eat when he wakes up. I'm, I'm just tired. I don't even know what to do in here. I came to your rescue. Huh? I made food for you. I made for your father too. This has foods inside, so when he's done eating, he'll just take a bit of the food. 
this is just my own way of saying I am sorry. Believe me, I will never make such mistakes again. I'm sorry. For it. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you very much. I thought you said you have not eaten. It's enjoying. I left my father outside all night. Let me go and see how he's doing. Allow the old bone to take care of himself. Right. But don't worry. I'll soon be back into your arms. Now. Promise me that you come back into my arms soon. I will not only be back into your arms. I will be in your bed all night. I'll make you feel like a real woman. I can't wait to have you in my bed again tonight. Thank you so much, Ezewanya Shimiri, for making this possible.
Agumba. You allowed your feelings and emotion to take hold of you. She has put knife into what holds body and soul together. And things have fallen apart. Wise one, I, I, I don't understand. You do not understand. I warned you when the heaven spoke, but you didn't listen to me. He who fetches and invested firewood invites the lizard to a feast. Obiefuna, go home. Your father Agumba will not be proud of you. I don't understand all these proverbs, they are too much. Let me hurry up and go back to the arms of my beloved brother. Hey! <laughs> This is the third time you're vomiting in this house this week. I hope you're fine. Or oh, are you sick? I'm not sick. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm okay. Are you pregnant? <gasps> pregnant? Please. I'm not pregnant though. I'm not pregnant. Okay. I have to tell my mother about it. Please. Obina, please. Please don't tell her. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. You're sick. And I have to tell my mother the principal about it. I don't want anything to happen to you. Remember, if anything should happen to you, the villagers will blame my mother. And I don't want that. I have to tell her. <laughs> See, Obina, there's no need to disturb the principal's peace. Eh? She has a lot on her head right now. The Wayek is fast approaching. And you know she has over 50 students to, to prepare for the exam. So, don't go and bother her with this. I, I said I'm fine. I, I, I'm okay. I know. But still, that doesn't stop me from telling her. I'm fine. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm fine. I'm okay. Now you see, something is wrong somewhere. Tell me the truth now. Are you pregnant? I said I am not pregnant. Are you pregnant? Take it easy. 
I promise I am going to take very good care of you, especially now that your father is no more. <laughs> I'm sorry. You will lack nothing. I, Uzamaka, daughter of Okonkwo, I make this promise to you today. It's okay. Sorry. He was the only one that I had. But now that he's gone, who, who else will I run to? What am I going to do? My lord, did you not just hear my promise? I am going to be with you through it all. Everything you want, I'll give you. It's okay, please. Please, it's okay. I don't want you to. What is it now? What is it with this principal, eh? She's been disturbing me in the past two days. If Kambili has done anything wrong, punish Kambili now. Eh? Why are you calling me? The money you asked for, I sent it. Now you're calling me, you won't let me be. Leave me alone, no. Leave me alone, this woman. I have my own problems, please. Let me attend to my own life problems. Such a shameless woman. Are you sure Obiefuna is not under love spell? Which love spell? The young boy loves everything on that skate. I won't gamble about this abomination. Mother and daughter sleeping with same man. To fear kwa alu of a beat. <laughs> What is wrong? How is your mother the principal? She's fed, Nene. But she's not happy with you. She has been calling your line for the past four days now and you're not picking her calls. Nene, good afternoon. Obina, is everything okay? Why did you bring my daughter back? The Wayek exams have not started. Or did she do anything wrong? Everything is not okay, Nene. We discovered that she has been pregnant even before she came to stay with us. That was why my mother asked me to bring her back. Pregnant? Yes, Nene. Abomination. Kambili, who got you pregnant? Come here. Come here. My friend, come here. Who got you pregnant? Nene, I'm sorry. You're sorry? So you have chosen to disgrace me in this village. My friend, go on your knees. Down. I say, who got you pregnant? Nee, nee, I'm sorry. You're sorry? You think I am here for all these things that you're doing? You have to say you're sorry. I say, who got you? Kambili, are you pregnant too? Kambili came back this morning. Is she the trouble? No, my love. Then tell the keeper of your heart what troubles you. My heart keeper should search his abode and find out what is still in my joy. Uzamaka, my love. Just voice it out and it will be solved. Pregnant for you. Uh, How did it happen? The same way you got me pregnant to be Come. Come, Kabuogeba. 
Замака. Кэмбили. Ты now call me by name. And I will do that again and again. May the day you conceived me be cursed. May Aja and the mother earth curse your womb that gave birth to me. I regret ever calling you mother. You are not fit to be called a mother. Silence, Kambili. Silence! Keep quiet, Uzamaka. You are so shameless. You let your feelings get hold of your mortal body. Now, when I walk through the village, everyone who whispers your name and mine, mother and daughter that got pregnant for the same man, so you are not ashamed of the fact that you got pregnant for a man out of wedlock. You still stand in my presence and disrespect me, your mother. See who is talking. You should be kneeling in front of the shrine of Ekwensu, the god of war, with a she-goat and four tubers of yam, begging for forgiveness before his wrath comes upon you. But I know that even if he forgives you, Aja and the mother earth will never forgive you. You committed an abomination. I will not have you see. One more move from you, and I will stab you and kill myself. Let Aja and be our judge. So, because you wanted Obiefuna, my friend, all to yourself, you sent me out to the principal's place in Inewichi. Thank the gods I am pregnant and came back to see everything for myself. Kambili, it is not exactly how you think I can explain. But we can still sort things out. Please. From today, I disown you. Any day I call you mother, let Aja and the mother earth swallow me. My daughter, I'm sorry. You know, you're, I'm the only one you have. Huh? Come. for him to stand up. Bam! After impregnating a mother and a daughter, you see him running out of the village. One that shall never end. This have never happened in the history of this village. This is an abomination. A big one. The thing is that, 
Aunt Billy has been crying. She has refused anyone comforting her. I feel for her. May her chi comfort her. He say that that boy to fear. Let's go. No. was made and the oath you have broken. It's the one you should marry. A deal. Uzamaka, once you have your way and Obiefuna becomes yours, make sure you come back with a dog and one she goat. For sacrifices. Accepted, wise one. Else, nature will take its course. Now I want you to swear with thunder and lightning. I swear with thunder and lightning. If Obiefuna becomes mine, I will come back here for a sacrifice with a dog and a she-goat. If I do not, may nature take my life. So be it. I, I forgot. I, I am sorry, Ezenwai. I am so sorry. Take its course. Goddess of the Seven Rivers, please. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I I, I forgot. I'm 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 sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that I did to you. I swear it wasn't my intention. Come, please. Find a place in your heart and forgive me. Piko. Obiefuna. I loved you. I even gave you my virginity. All you could do is, is betray me. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh, be careful now. The offspring of Agumba. An evil man does not kneel down for a woman. Do you want the gods to be angry with you?
Kambili. I want you to forget the past. Because your friend, Ubiefna, was under spell by Ezenwani Mili. Where your mother went to. I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive him. And remember that the two of you are the only surviving children of your parents. Daughter, please forgive him. I'm really my good friend. Please forgive him. Remember, you are crying his child. Even more and awful. Find a place in your heart to forgive him. Only can't believe. You know, you told me the last week in market day that you still love him. Why not give him a chance? of our great land. Bless your union. Peace. Okay. Peace. 